Hello Thomas fans or random toy unboxing viewers, my name is Gio and what I am presenting to you today is a bag of Thomas toys. Now what makes this special is that I recently picked this up off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. The seller had literally bins uh, full of Thomas toys obviously belonging to her children. Uh, she had a price where you can dig through all these bins and they were $2 uh, per train and I just jumped on it, um, spent quite a while rummaging through, and uh, I have this bag full. Now, uh, what in has been accumulated in this bag cost me a total amount of $125. Now, what I want to do is I want to have this up to the viewer to afterwards look at this and tell me, did I get ripped off or did I get a good deal? Um, so what I'm going to say at this point forward, I'm going to try my best to get through everything. Um, I have my screwdriver with me to the uh, right over there. Uh, not in, It's not in shot, so don't look for it to uh, actually open up some of these. And my main goal is to kind of look at everything here and see, uh, was it worth the amount I paid? Which I'm thinking, at least for myself, I do think it is, uh, considering I do believe a lot of these pieces go for... Uh, quite a bit on the aftermarket as you can see a few of these that are sticking out um, Now I'm gonna be honest up until this point. There's not gonna be any fancy editing um, I, Because I just really want to get through because there's so much in here And I'm going to keep the bag out of out of uh, shot and what you'll see is a kind of You'll see my green backdrop that's been in quite a few other videos. So really Let's just get into this. Uh, we've got quite a lot to go through, and uh, let's start off uh, strong with a Thomas. So this is, um, I believe, a hit toy company, RC Thomas. Uh, he's supposed to have a van. The van is in the bit is in the bag, but um, he doesn't have the remote control. He doesn't have his side rods. This is an awful condition. Um, and that's uh, the type of condition. I'll be honest. We'll be seeing a lot of the merch merchandise in this but he doesn't have any decals uh, except for the one uh, above the calf which which I can easily uh, make myself if you've seen the Trackmaster restoration series and uh, he looks he's in decent shape I mean the paintwork on the boiler um, is there he just really needs some touch-ups of black but uh, it hasn't uh, there none of the corners of the buffer beam have been chipped off so that's pretty cool and uh, just for safety and I recommend not not just for myself but anybody who buys lots on uh, on uh, used uh, not knowing where they came from I'm going to be spraying them down periodically as we go along just because I do not want any uh, unwanted germs from these toys so and I do do suggest that as a golden rule to my viewers uh, if you do buy uh, lots in a similar fashion, make sure to sanitize them. We're in a pandemic right now. Uh, now we've got another interesting character. We've got Jerome the Crane. Yeah, that that was not something I was I was uh, I was surprised to find. Uh, this was sold with Ryan, I believe. Uh, Ryan, uh, Trackmaster Ryan, at least was not in the lot. But this is a weird one. Jerome of all characters. I, I forget he exists a lot, and I'm probably. I don't know. He's, uh, yeah, there's uh, there's Jerome. Interesting uh, character. Uh, we've just got a flatbed. This is from the Stevens uh, Castle, whatever it's called, Trackmaster pack. Um, I do have one of these. Both are missing the horse. But I just like some uh, Trackmaster flatbeds, but you can see. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's the conditions we're dealing with. Uh, so keep in mind uh, the price. Moving along, we have a Japanese Thomas. Uh, this is a uh, play rail Thomas, or plow rail. Um, and you're probably saying, how can you tell? You can tell by the white running board and the different face. Um, you can take the... And I haven't been able to test. I don't have any batteries, so we don't even know if these work. But uh, there's Thomas. Uh, that's, that's, it's pretty nice. I've never had a Japanese one. Um, and the thing is, I do also plan to make a lot of scrap customs with uh, with whatever I have here, so uh, keep that in mind. Then we have another one. I'm not sure what the manufacturer of this is, but we just have an Annie. I think this is from a Japanese merchandise line. No couplings. I'd assume they broke, but uh, there's, there's uh, 
that side they're mint, that side not so much. The face is a bit faded compared to the color of the other decals, but it's a pretty cool model. Also credit where it's due, it's uh, Smiling Annie, not one with a surprised face, something you don't see a lot. Uh, starting off with a really strange item, and our first wooden railway item, we have a 92 Toby. How unexpected is that? 92, no dates on the wheels. In fact, the wheels hardly can turn. Stapled bottom, and it has stickers. Who knew? What a strange uh, character selection. Another wooden railway model. We have the chocolate car from the uh, Mr. Jolly's chocolate pack that uh, Mattel did when they had their reign over wooden railway. They still do, but it's just uh, non-existent. Trackmaster Flora's tram car. It's probably one of the ones I will not be keeping because I do not have a Flora. But that is pretty cool. Hit Toy Company. Have not owned one of those before. And for that, RC Thomas, here is his uh, box car that would secure to the model. That will probably I will probably solder those wires back on. There's three. Well, I mean, two are bundled, but there's a third one. That is, you don't usually see that a lot. I'm just going to pull that forward and push him to the back there. This is going to be crazy, so I'm going to just try to blow through these as quick as I can. Number one, we have Arthur. Um, yeah, this is a uh, Hit Toy Company Arthur. And luckily, we have a screwdriver, so I'm curious to see. He has some weight to him. So I'm curious to see if there's a battery in it or not, but... <laughs> oh, Arthur, what a disgrace. Uh, can't even get it back on. I have to put the switch... Uh, We'll leave them like that. And we have Arthur number two. This one is a Tomy uh, print of the character. He has some weight to him too. I'm scared to open him up. Uh, and this one actually has side rods. The other one doesn't. So this one's actually in pretty good nick. And this one's not corroded. Hey! Wow. So that's... Probably something we'll be fixing in future. And we've got one that I'm definitely keeping because I've never had before. Take along Mighty Mac. Wow. That's pretty cool. You can tell it's an old take along because it has quite a bit of weight to it. So uh, let's keep digging in. We have, if I can get it, this weird Thomas. Um, never seen this before. It's obviously based on a wooden railway Thomas, but it's plastic. And I th actually, you know, this came with a ride-on, but that's interesting. Um, throw them there. I, I thought, you know, I saw it and I'm like, I don't want to, this looks weird. And we have a character, another wooden railway character new to my collection, Sydney. Oh boy, what happened to the top of your head? That is odd. Very bad condition, but happy to have Sydney. We have this Tomy ch chassis. Um, no, no licensing to Ghislaine Thomas Limited, so this isn't uh, Thomas chassis, which is weird. So I have no idea what this is for. There's a switch, but yeah, unknown, unknown cha chassis. Is that could it be Salties? I don't know. One of the few Ertl models. We have George the Steamroller. Strange, uh, strange one to find. I think it's the only Ertl. Well, they, there was Ertls, but I just didn't buy them. Just didn't interest me, or ones that I already had. So that was uh, interesting. And uh, speaking of Ryan from the beginning, we have Trackmaster Ryan with no pupils. Or no, take and play. Is this take and play? I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Eddie Remnane. And just for sake of... I think a lot of people just cringed, saying, oh, it's going to damage the paint, but I don't know. 
I just get scared. Uh, we have a roof. I think this is for one of the buildings in the wooden railway line. I don't know. Can do something with that. We have another take along. We have Byron. First time uh, I've had a Byron. I think this I. Uh, yeah, this is definitely Mattel. Or is it? No, it's learning curve, but it's so light. Very light. Um, then we have Dash. Now, I don't know if I... I have one of them in Wooden Railway, and I'm not sure if it's Bash or Dash. But I'll be upset if it's Dash. Um, because I had one of them, and I sold it by accident, thinking that I won't need it. But it turns out it was one of the ones I was missing. So, hopefully this is the one I'm missing. Either way, I will probably not keep him. Depends. Then we have this. This is just a classic Thomas Cake Topper. Pretty cool. He has something inside of him, I don't know. Can you hear that? I don't know, maybe I'm going nuts. Cake Topper. Uh, we have another one. This from the Bandai Thomas Engine Series range, the Tech Thomas Engine Collection Series range. Here we have Scarlowy Narrow Gauge Engine. Um, this was, again, very surprising to find. I had no idea this would be in there. But Thomas Engine Collection Series, Scarlowy. Next up, here we have, uh, I believe this is Mattel Wooden Railway. We have the baggage car. This is the green one. There's two. There's a red one and a green one. I have a knockoff red one, but now I have an official green one. Um, and we have a Adventures. This is Ivan from, I believe, The Great Race or Big World, Big Adventures. I'm leaning towards uh, Great Race. But he is cool. I did not know I'd ever... I never thought I'd have him. I might have him in box, actually. Because when the line was released, I got him and uh, Henrietta, and I opened Henrietta. And we have everybody's favorite disappearing engine, I think. We have Merlin from Journey Beyond Sodor. I have never watched this special yet, but uh, maybe this will... I'm, I'm getting it on DVD soon, believe it or not. But yeah, this feels really weird. It's like, if it's on... He's silver, but it almost feels like he's like unpainted. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Put him there. Coming up next, we have another RC Thomas, similar to the one before, but this is the Mattel uh, variant uh, with the red running board. That was done in 2009 before Mattel stopped producing RC engines uh, made by Hit Toy Company and did their own designs. Uh, this one has the side rods and it actually has the van connected. Uh, it's missing the decals, which sucks, so I will probably have to cook up some more. And this one's actually sun faded pretty bad, but still pretty cool model. Will be fun to restore. And uh, speaking of restoring Trackmasters, we have one that's unrestorable in my personal opinion. Here we have a Japanese James. Um, but he has no tender. He has no uh, face. And uh, he will probably be turned into a scrap engine. Uh, I saw this and I, was, I, got, I, I got tempted to buy it because it was a Japanese one. But he's obviously broken. That is sad. So he will be scrapped. Well, not scrapped, but he will be turned into a scrap engine. You know what I mean. Anyway, uh, continuing on. Thomas Engine Collection Series Tex Thomas. <laughs> Awful condition. He's missing his whistle. He's missing his front wheels. And his face is yellowed. So he might be scrap as well. I'm not 100% sure. Or I might keep him because I do like the Tex. Um, but very bad condition. But cool find. Next one we have is a Tommy Thomas. This is a birthday Thomas. I've got the birthday one that Learning Curve did in 2006, but I never actually picked up any of the other variants. But this is kind of cool. He's got that weird kind of CGI styled face. Really ugly. But I love it. Speaking of CGI style faces, we've got our friend Edward. Um, I saw him and I kind of wanted him just because the Mattel Edward was actually kind of nice. But yeah, here is Edward. 
got quite a few wooden railway models, but uh, we'll keep going. Next up is Duck. This is the old take-along Duck, and if you've watched Leokin video, you know all about how heavy the old take-alongs are, and this is a very heavy take-along Duck. First time having a take-along Duck, so that's pretty cool. Journey Beyond Sodor, we have a very light hurricane. Again, the, the eyes on these things, I just see them without eyes. Or pupils. Yeah, and he's not in the best shape, but he's pretty cool. Wooden Railway Billy. My only Billy is new in box, so it's nice to have a used condition one or one that's open. This one's actually in decent nick, well, compared to the other models. Uh, then we have Bill. Take Long version. And following that up, we have another Japanese one. Here we have uh, Spencer. This is from the Tomika diecast range. Um, he's quite yellowed. Uh, but yeah, this is interesting. I've never actually had one of these before. This is my first one. So that's pretty cool. He's in such bad condition, but he is. I'd be lying if I said he wasn't cool. Uh, we have a wooden railway model. We have an original Sir Handel. Uh, this, the date on the wheels say 1997. I believe that was the year he was released. And he is in awful condition. I really, I'm tempted to restore him. I think I can. Who knows? Speaking of wooden railway, we have two. The brightest red engine on Sodor. Here is James. Now what we have here is a 92 uh, or at least an undated on the wheel. So this is 93 maybe. James. And that's actually pretty cool. I've never had one of these before. And in this one is a 1999 James. And he has, I'm not sure if you'd call this a factory error. The face is kind of um, miss, uh, it's not on the boiler correctly. Like it's lowered. So that's too bad. Still pretty cool. Here we have uh, one. This is a Mattel Bell. That rhymed. You can tell because it has the plastic bogies. I don't like that, but it's kind of cool to have a Mattel one. I have the uh, Tomy one. The Tomy, uh, uh, I guess, before... Tell took over. Here we have a Japanese model of Stepney. I'm not sure what line he is, but I'm 90% sure he's from a Japanese line. And he has disgusting chewed up couplings. Like, that is gross. My god. That's disgusting. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, here we have a 92 Thomas. Or a 93 Thomas. Probably 93. But he's missing his funnel. He looks pretty, looks pretty rancid. But there's a funny looking uh, 93 Thomas. Continuing on, uh, because we're going through a lot of one railway. Here we have a Stanley, but this is the uh, recognition engine Stanley, the one where if you brought it to a certain destination, they would say, hello Stanley. It's pretty cool. I uh, haven't had any from that series except Edward. And uh, let's get a Trackmaster uh, 2. This is the only Trackmaster 2 I bought, or technically not including uh, Jerome, who's buried right now. But here we have uh, Timothy. He has no switch, so let's uh, open it up. Oh, wait. Not sure if you can see that, but it's stuck in there. So let's open him up. Let's open him up and uh, see <laughs> yeah look at that rust and corrosion yeah. I think I'm gonna leave it off for now Timothy folks here we have another first for my collection <laughs> Kevin uh, this is the uh, learning curve version this will be something I will restore on stream, because I think I can do this. He, <laughs> he's not going to have a name on the bottom anymore, let's just say that. Here's one. Trackmaster Dennis. Uh, I have a Tomy Dennis. This is a Trackmaster one. Uh, I've never... Uh, I don't know if there's any differences between the Trackmaster and Hit Toys. Usually not, but he's not corroded. Well, he is a little bit. That's pretty cool. 
And here we have one. Here we have a Mattel Talking Thomas. Now, how many do you want to bet he's not working? You'd be correct. Um, I don't want to. I, I don't want to open this one up, but I might just just for fun. Yeah, and then the batteries would be in there. Interesting, very interesting. Um, I wonder if I'll get them to work. I actually have one new in the box of the uh, Mattel talking, so. Here we have Arthur. This is the third Arthur from this, uh, Arthur. Take long from the uh, early 2000s. Have not had them in take long form. And continuing on with the theme of Japanese engines, I think this is one of the last ones. We have a Gordon uh, from an unknown line. He's missing one of his wheels. Oh God, this poor, this poor engine. He's probably going to be scrap, uh, scrap custom. Here, oh, I'm going to save that for later because that's a rare one. Here we have a chugger. Yes, I bought a Chuggington. I, I caved in and I brought a Chuggington because I thought this one looked cool. This is a character. Is this Callie? I think, maybe. I think this might be Callie. Might be Callie. I'm not sure. But anyway, there's that. And But unfortunately, <laughs> ugh, gross. That is gross. Some kid chewed that thing. Uh, here we have one with a coupling that hasn't been chewed. We have Thomas and the Magic Railroad uh, Subway Lady. So back in 2000, you can go to Subway. And if you got a kid's meal in June, probably they gave you a Magic Railroad toy. She squeaks. Now, I don't remember ladies squeaking in the movie, but that was sold at Subway, and they are usually right, so. So here's some other ones. Here are some take-along uh, troublesome trucks. No idea what these are from. They're not die-cast, they're plastic. So those are pretty cool. And I'd like to apologize for the lighting, because I, I realize it's hard to uh, see the faces, uh, at least through, uh, through the uh, preview on my screen. Oh, we have a uh, wooden railway toy from one of the best episodes of the show. The greatest <laughs> Callan old engine. Who needs it when you have Sir Topham Hatt's car covered in hay and mud from Mr. Bubbles? Solid S-tier episode. How many subscribers am I going to lose or gain for that? Uh, of course, I'm joking. Uh, Edward's Tender. Let's see what else we have. I actually bought a lot more wooden railway than I thought I would. And no exception for this Thomas. There's a CGI face Thomas, and this is the Express Coming Through Thomas. I'm assuming Express Coming Through is an episode, uh, but I'm not I'm not keying into what this might what episode this might be from. So if anybody knows why Thomas has some banners on him, I assume. The plot of that one would be Thomas pulls the express and he wears those banners. Here we have a CGI face Thomas. I've actually never had one before. Well, besides the ones I've shown, but I've never had just a basic one. And this one is actually not in good condition, which I like because I think that brings out the most character in it. So very cool. And here we have another chugger. Some Thomas fans are getting very angry, but my I, my inner Leo Kim video saw this and I had to buy it. But we've got Action Chugger. And he's pretty cool. He's got like rockets that flip up. Very reminiscent of Ertl. But that's pretty cool. And hey, it's not chewed. <laughs> wow, what a concept. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a random James Tender. This is Talking James Tender. Which I feel bad because I don't have a Talking James <laughs> for it to go with. So there's an incomplete Talking James out there. Um, actually, I lied about Ertl. There's two more. Uh, one is this metallic Ertl Percy. That's pretty cool. Never had a metallic one before. And actually, there's more Ertl. I completely forgot. Keeping on the theme of metallics. Look at this cool Golden Thomas. I've never seen this. 
That is really cool. Just look at the shine. Wow. And again, another one from the greatest Thomas episode of all time. We've got the Mr. Bubbles car. Oh, wow. This is so funny looking. I'm surprised the condition these are in that wasn't cracked open and the kid who owned these ingested that whatever was in there. We've got a side rod. We've got the Sudoff you all I mean the Sodor fuel tanker. Let's see, I'm, I'm starting to fill up the frame here. Uh, continuing on, we have Ben to go along with the bill that we previously showed. And we've got a proper Sir Topham Hatt's car. Not the uh, hay bale variant. And here's an interesting one. Uh, we have a talking Gordon. But look at that. His wheel is literally falling off. This is now, this is the Mattel talking Gordon. There's two. There's uh, There was one that uh, I think Tommy did. And then there's one that Mattel did. But uh, that one, see, you've got to hook it on there and then... So, obviously, I don't think this one's working, but let's press the button and find out. Yeah, no. That's sad. We'll try to see if we can get that working. That's a future restoration project. Just look at that boiler. All right. Uh, we have this. This is, I think, is Ertl. Um, But there's no uh, information. It's just a wind-up Henry. Just look at the character in that face. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got mud covered Thomas from the Great Discover. Oh, that poor nose. His poor nose. Mud covered Thomas. Great Discovery. We've got a Sodor Sweet Shop car. The Gumball car. And we have a side rod, a second side rod. We've got Max, Wooden Railway. We've got an Ertl Express coach. Surprisingly, the connector is still intact. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. We've got, uh, what's his name? Jerome's uh, flatbed, which... <laughs> Look at that. The, the whole point of the flatbed is you're supposed to fit an engine on. Imagine trying to fit an engine, nevertheless, a, a Trackmaster one on there. Wow. Um, we've got one of, uh, I know, a fan favorite character. We've got Oliver. This is a 96. Or no, 94. So this would have been the year he was released. So quite a rare find. Or at least I think. We've got an Ertl Duncan. Forgot I got him. And we're on the home stretch. Only five more models. And actually two are really cool. I'll try to do them. So we've got the last Ertl for real this time. Just an Ertl James. A Diesel. Who is from 2000. Wow. And I'm saving, I'm putting these last ones out slow because these are kind of three of the cooler ones. Uh, we have a 92, or this is a 93 Annie, and it has the newer, at least for the 92 stuff, it has the newer face print. So this is 93. You can see this one, there's like a black strip, I guess, to kind of do a shadow. That's pretty cool. She's in awful condition, but it's awesome to have her. I actually don't have an old style Clarabelle. I have two old style Annies. Then we've got a hit toy company hero. You know, let's, uh, since it's the last one, I want this to drag out. Let's see, will he open up? Wow, not corroded. That's excellent. And lastly, not a super rare item, but one I was happy to pick up. The Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory Boxcar. You do not see this every day. And let's throw that in and take a look at all of this and quickly
hold our breath as I spray that with Lysol. What do we think of this? Look at that. We've got all these different models from all these ranges of the show. Probably from the late, early, or the early 90s to now. We've got stuff from literally the inception of the show. And stuff from the end of it. Jerome, literally, the, some of the newest characters. What a strange lot. Like, literally some of the first Thomas toys, and then some of the last. So what do you think? Do you think this was worth it? I'm on the fence right now. I, I do think I paid a little much, but I think there's a cool selection of merch here. But yeah, I want to I wanna let the viewer decide. What does the viewer think? Anyway, we're 30 minutes in, and that's it for this Thomas Merchandise video. Watch. Just look at everything. Anyway, thank you for watching. You've made it this far. That means you are obligated to subscribe. But if you don't want to, don't let me force you. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Geo. This has been the Trackmaster Wooden Railway Bandai Techs uh, Take Along, Take and Play Adventures uh, Trackmaster 2 Unboxing.